Believe it or not, Matt's three years older than really? me. Really? I'm just going to emphasize that, especially now that we're into our 30s. Yes. I am the younger it brother. It now matters. <laughs> it's yes. cool to be the younger brother now. <laughs> Joining us in the studio, local musician, singer, songwriter, guitarist extraordinaire, Adam Webster is in the studio from the band Color Picture Book. Uh, great to see you again, buddy. Great to see you. Tell us about Color Picture Book. Uh, I stumbled upon this band. This is how tight Adam and I are. I haven't seen him in a while. Next thing I'm watching global TV, and there's my buddy Adam with his brother Matt, another buddy of mine, rocking it, old school, power trio. Uh, you guys did great on that show. Thank you very much, man. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It's the first I heard about Color Picture Book. Uh, how do you describe it? What's your, your elevator pitch on the band? Well, um, I, I guess it's about kind of about the old school right now. And uh, just the band itself, like Color Picture Book, we started out making an Adam Webster record, and then the other two uh, put so much into the record that it ended up having to be its own thing. So um, you've been you've been playing with your brother uh, for uh, since you can remember. It's true. We uh, we needed a bass player. I think I was in grade seven or eight. And I had a <laughs> band with Dan O'Halloran and yes. Robert Morey, <laughs> and we had no bass. If right. you can imagine. And uh, your little brother was there. <laughs> Believe it or not, Matt's three years older than really? me. Really? I'm just going to emphasize that, especially now that we're into our 30s. Yes. I am the younger it brother. It now matters. <laughs> yes. It's cool to be the younger brother now. <laughs> yes. So uh, um, we bought a bass for Matt, and he immediately <laughs> was good. I don't know how it happened. Uh, the apple doesn't far, fall far from the tree when it comes to musical talent. Uh, of course, your father and your mother are both uh, musical performers. They are, actually. I kind of grew up in... Uh, Smoky bluesy bars around here. Uh, I think it was, yeah, I was kind of raised in places like the Gateway. Yes. And rest in peace. Yeah. And, uh, uh, Fran Webster, of course, we're talking about, and uh, Anna Lee. And uh, what a, what an amazing uh, guitarist and singer your, your father is. Did you know all along you're going to follow in the footsteps somewhat? Not so much. I guess uh, probably not until I was older. But it was more so just, I guess, being lucky enough to be immersed in it right and like kind of all the time there was something going on whether it was harmonies around the table or uh you know being at a gig because my parents couldn't find a babysitter or whatever it was <laughs> matt and i were just kind of uh in it from the beginning tell me about the the style that uh that you're focusing on now with color picture book uh I'm hearing some funk. I'm hearing some, you know, old school rock, even some elements of jazz in there. Yeah. So I guess when we set out to make this recording, I brought this for you, by the oh, way. Thank this you. is a seven inch record here. Oh, it's an actual record. Yeah. You're so too young that... to even know what this is. <laughs> Start to finish. Thank that you. has never touched digital that in your hands, believe it or so not. So completely analog. Yes. So wow. that was kind of the idea. Um, I've really been inspired by the bins of old tapes that my dad has in the shed that continue right. to age and get cracklier and <laughs> get squirrels nested them and stuff. I used to just go and pull from there and just listen to all these old rehearsal tapes that he had. And there was just something so human about the analog thing. Mm -hmm. and Actual people playing actual instruments. Yes. So we wanted to make a record that sounded like a band in a room. So we actually found out the easiest way to do that is to put a band <laughs> in, a in a room and play a song. <laughs> so we figured if we're going that far, why not do it to tape mm -hmm. like they used to do? And uh, we actually had a lot of fun getting to play with uh, all the old tools and, and, and see what the capabilities are, what you can do. Uh, you're really well noted locally as an amazing guitarist, a great singer, a performer. Uh, but this is you now as a singer songwriter. Uh, does that feel a bit more vulnerable? <laughs> it is definitely you standing in your underwear while all of your closest <laughs> friends poke and prod. That's what, when someone's like, oh, show me your songs, that's what it feels like now. Right. Um, it is a lot easier to be a sideman for mm -hmm. me in a lot of ways. Mm -hmm. But yeah, finally having something finished. I mean, I've worked on a lot of things. 
Um, what this project has really showed me is that the hardest thing to do is to finish something. So mm. um, to finally have something finished and in my hands is definitely puts you in that vulnerable position where you feel like there you are up there naked. And I guess when you say something's finished, um, it actually has to be what it is. Right. You finally have to put a fork yes. in and go, we're done. Yeah. And you can't yeah. keep changing it and sprinkling stuff on it because that's a great <laughs> excuse to never put something out. Right? It is out now. Where can people get the album? Well, this this record's available online at colorpicturebook.com. Right. You can order it. Or uh, in town, um, Mad Dogs has some. Um, there's some other local record stores, which uh, if you check our site. You That's, can the seven inch That's the 7-inch single. That's the 7-inch single. If you guys, you know, like dropping a needle onto yeah. some real analog. <laughs> That's uh, a true analog recording. If you want to find it online, it's on all the platforms. It's on iTunes and Spotify, Spotify and that. Deezer. And I'm getting older, John, so yeah. I don't know what all these things are called <laughs> anymore. Title? I, I don't know. All these new things that it, happen on people's phones. What's the future hold for Color Picture Book? What's your plan? What's the next steps? Well... I'd like to quote Craig Smith, man, I, <laughs> because I just been running on. I ran into him probably like two months ago. A great singer songwriter in his own right, amazing producer. Absolutely, everything he touches is great. And I said, hey, I think that's what I said to him. Everything I see you touching is great, and and he was like, man, I, I'm just trying to do good work, <laughs> you know. So I guess with Color Picture Book. It's like, we're just trying to make good music. We're just nice. trying to do good work. And I'm lucky enough to play with some great guys and have a great life. So we're just trying to put that into a something you can hold in your hands and put on your record player. Tell us about the song. This is from your new 7-inch single. Uh, this is the song this time around. Tell us about the song. Um, well, this song, uh, it's like an upbeat kind of pep talk, I guess. Right. To, uh, um, originally, it's... It's a song about commitment. I, I finally met a girl that, uh, I guess, I don't know how you put it, but uh, she keeps my head attached to my body, you know? <laughs> and um, this song, although it, I guess you could kind of sing it about anything, um, it's, it really was about putting both feet into something. It's kind of a funky love song. It's kind of a funky love song. John. Here is Color Picture Book and This Time Around in the Collingwood Live and Original Independent Spotlight. Direction. This time around, I think I might. 